you go to bed every night knowing that, well, your family home's mortgaged, you owe four million bucks to the bank and things are maybe not going the way you thought. You, you deal with it and I suppose you put it in perspective and lots of people are going through a lot of worse things and you just get on with it. The thing that always worked in our favour was that from day one the brand was really well received, the product was well received, so it just grew and picked up quickly and I could see that, okay, whilst it's really tough, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a success. I bought 20 acres of land in a place called Fife and we were going to commission this greenfield site and start building from scratch and, and at the same time this Bladnock had come onto the market and uh, as I said very rare these distilleries wouldn't come on more than once every decade really and we've got a river running through our property a 200 year old distillery it's just you know it was a true serendipitous moment for this to come to me at the right time that I wanted to get into the industry. Culture's Life was set up by myself and a, a team of people um, to work on this massive issue we have at the moment which is youth suicide amongst Indigenous communities. Just a decade ago it was hardly, it was virtually unknown youth suicide uh, in the remote communities and for some reason it's spreading like wildfire at the moment. And there's a whole host of reasons that that's happening and there's a number of ways we're trying to work with the communities in terms of community-led, Aboriginal-led solutions. A lot of it is coming back to cultural strengthening and though whilst it's about addressing this issue of youth suicide, it's also about the fact that ultimately we believe and I believe that the um, Aboriginal and Indigenous culture is one of the most amazing, strongest cultures on earth. You know, 40,000 years of history and culture and connection to the Australian continent, which has been, you know, in many ways wiped away and forgotten. Winning the distinguished, well, put it this way, I never, when I was at the school, thought I'd be a distinguished alumni, so I'm, um, you know, absolutely over the moon, honestly, to be um, recognised as that and amongst the others that have been recognised over the years and this year, so really, really means a lot to me. It's great to go through an institution which, when I arrived on the first day and you walk in, I was overawed. I mean, this was a school that I thought, everyone's smarter than me, so absolutely, you know, overjoyed to be, um, be recognised.